Today I will show you how to use your smartphone as a mobile scanner. Yes, you can use your smartphone as a mobile scanner. You no longer need a scanner that connects to a PC. How can you do this on your smartphone? You will need an application. The best is Tiny Scanner Pro. You need to download it from market. Let's access Play Store and search Tiny Scanner Pro. There are a lot of applications, but this is the best. I've tested I've tested a lot of application and this is the best. You can find here a free version of this application and the paid version. I advise you to buy this application because it's the best. It has a lot of options, it works flawlessly and I'm very very glad, satisfied with this application. You can use it on your mobile phone or tablet as you can see. So, buy this application or another one and enter the application. Now, let's, let's write something and have a demo of this application. Now we will scan this paper, it's an A4 format. Here you can choose images from your gallery or you can take a shot with your phone's camera. Let's take a picture of this document. As you can see the application automatically detects the edge of the paper, of the doc documents. You have option to change these this edges as you like. It's very simple and you can choose the area that you want to scan. But in most situations, you can trust the application to automatically detect the edges. The, applica the application works very well and let's take another another image okay you can see the application has established automatically the the corners the next step it's pressing OK, but before that you can choose here the, the page sizes, A4, A5 or any other format. Let's press Next. And our page has been scanned and it's and has a, a perfect form. Here you can change the contrast, the colors, you have many options. Use it. This is black and white. Now 
you can rotate the image it's a very nice function that you can rotate the picture on your smartphone okay here you type your uh, documents name and press ok and that's it now you have your scan and you can use it as you can li as you like you can add more pages by pressing add another photo either by your gallery or by your phone's camera let's press share here you will see some application that are pre that are installed in your phone you can choose what you need but this is the trick press open it open in and now you can export your media file your scan in uh, all your apps that you have in your phone you can choose any of your app that you have installed in your phone you can export this scan this document in acrobat reader in um, office suite google pdf, PDF viewer and this is the PDF that we've created. This is the page. We have only one page. The PDF is opened in Acrobat Reader, in Google PDF Reader. You have many uh, many options in uh, in this app. Let's go back and press settings. You can choose whatever you like here. You can upload your scans into uh, into cloud. You can do almost anything. Anything. Press share. And another trick for the first time you have to press share and open in then choose one of your application that can read this pdf scan this is very important why because in this way your scan it's saved on your phone's memory in this way you can find with, with an explorer with, an file, with a file explorer this PDF scan if you don't press share and open in, a, in an application this PDF file you can't find your PDF file with a file explorer this is your PDF file in file explorer as you can see we have PDF file I repeat, if you don't open your scan into an application that can read PDF, you can't see your PDF with a file explorer. I hope this is a useful, useful tutorial and you enjoy this application and this video. Thanks, like, share, subscribe.